Beholder of Rebellion. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. Walk up to the receptionist and say in an official tone that you would like to see the person that calls themselves the Holder of Rebellion and that it is of dire importance to the cause. The receptionist will roll their eyes, laugh a little to themselves and say under their breath, Oh yeah, that one. They will then lead you down the hall, explaining that what you are doing is a waste of time and that this person was completely delusional. No matter how many times you try to get them to stop talking or drop the issue, they will persist with growing volume that it is best to just leave, that this is a lost cause. You will then start to notice that the receptionist was sounding more and more hysterical and that the explanation was really a plea. The receptionist will lead you to a room identical to the rooms next to it and they will hand you a key. Before they turn to leave, you will notice a tattoo on the receptionist's neck that seems like a secret symbol. Remember this symbol. You should unlock the door next, but do not open it. Knock three times. If there is no response, then you have failed. Don't worry, nothing will kill you or drive you mad. But you will go home and go to sleep. When you wake up, you will forget everything about the holders you have already known and go about your old life none the wiser. However, if you hear three knocks on the other side, you are free to open the door and go inside. Inside and along the walls you will see maps, blueprints, and plans of previous rebellions and revolutions, both failures and successes. Near the end of the room there is a table with a piece of old parchment, an old quill, and an inkwell on it. The table is made out of old wood and is rickety to the touch. The moment you touch the table, the door will slam shut and lock itself. You will hear a voice beside the door asking you to draw the symbol of the resistance on the parchment. Draw the tattoo you saw on the receptionist's neck. If you draw one thing wrong, you will face a quick death but your soul will suffer for eternity for being a traitor to the cause. If you draw the symbol correctly, every moment of every revolution will play in front of your eyes. The successful ones will make you want to celebrate with the rebels around you. The failures will shoot pain through your every pore. You must not respond to either of these, as they are illusions. Should you respond, you will be stuck in that time, meeting the most gruesome death of what the minds of that time could come up with. If you did not move, you will be confronted with the man who had told you to draw the symbol. He will be tall, about six foot, with a large red scar trailing along from his cheekbone to his chin. You need to speak a code for you to escape with your life. Who has tried to stop them from coming together? He will list off names, dates, and descriptions of every seeker that has failed the tests of a holder, which holder it was, and what part of the test they failed at. He will completely skip over the deaths of his own seekers, though. Don't ask him about his seekers. Do not interrupt him at all. If you do, you will immediately be brought to a front office in any city, in any country, behind the desk, mindlessly typing until new seekers come. You are now a receptionist, and your thought process will only be as far as what the holder you were assigned allows it to be. However, if you are able to quench your curiosity long enough for him to finish going through the millions of names, he will reach up for his scar and pinch the side, ripping it off. You will hear the noise of seams ripping. 
But instead of being greeted with the man's cheek bleeding profusely in the shape of the scar, you will see a deep red flag with the symbol you had drawn placed in front of you. The man will look at you and give a slight smile before handing it to you. He will then say a code word, one that just hearing would drive one with a weaker mind mad. The moment he says this, you will be back in front of wherever you call home. The flag now rolled up and in your pocket. The flag is object 999 of 2538. No rebellion known to man can stop them from coming together.